Good morning, Paddle Pals. I was hoping for bright, sunny skies today, but unfortunately it's a little overcast. But if you think a little cloud cover is going to stop us from kayaking, you don't know the Paddle Pals. Today we're going back to Ninigrid Pond. Uh, we're going to go to the Charlestown Breachway area. I'm going to show you that launch there, show you the Breachway a little bit, and uh, paddle around that lake a little bit more. Looking forward to it, so let's not burn... Let's not burn cloud cover, okay? Off we go. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Ninigrit is a coastal lagoon in Charlestown, Rhode Island. It is the largest of the nine lagoons, or salt ponds, in southern Rhode Island. Charlestown Breachway State Beach is a seaside public recreation area on Block Island Sound in the town of Charlestown, Rhode Island. Located on the east side of the man-made channel, the Breachway, that connects Nidigrit Pond with the Atlantic Ocean, the area offers 75 camping sites for self-contained RVs, ocean swimming, beach activities, saltwater fishing, and a boat launch. In 1904, a permanent breachway was approved because the natural beach was filled in by the tides depositing sand, thereby creating a barrier that separated the pond from the ocean. Also, the permanent breach would prevent the water in Ninigret, Pawget, and Charleston ponds from becoming brackish and unfit for the cultivation and harvesting of oysters, an industry important to this area. Okay, that's fine. Thanks. I accidentally made a medium. But I only paid for a small. Oh, it's a good thing she made a medium, too, because it's like a block of ice with a little coffee dribble in it. Who does that? You know what I mean? Some mornings you just need a coffee, though. Oh, I gotta tell you, I just can't stress enough how much I love being down by the ocean. And we can see we've got a small concrete plank ramp, but we've also got plenty of just open cage to put the boat in. Ooh, you know what? That water's a little chilly this morning. Oh, so much the easy here. So over there, that is the breachway. Now we're not going to get too close to that. But you can see the divide between the lands and you can actually see the, see the surf out there. We'll take a walk out that way later. 
Um, but we are not actually going out there, so get turned around and uh, head on to Ninigrit proper. See, yeah, there's a current just grabbing us and throwing us to the side there. Tell you what, paddling through here is interesting. If nothing else, I mean, you do not want to make this entrance the first thing you ever do out here. It's certainly not if you don't have some time paddling first. Have a good feel for your your boat and how it handles. Um, over in that direction, somewhere over that way is uh, Charlestown Beach. It's a town beach. Um, somewhere. Roughly straight ahead here, I think, is the Charlestown Wildlife Refuge. And we're going sideways to the waves now. Interesting thing about going sideways to the waves, they really, really rock your boat a lot. It's a lot harder to be sideways to waves than it is to be perpendicular to them. The wave gets too big. If you're not careful, you're going for a swim. Yeah, look at that. You can see that line clearly now. That is, uh, there's a lot of difference in the water. Going out over a shallow. Woo! That is uh, some kind of windy. Paddling out, as I mentioned before, into the wind. Always the best idea. <laughs> and there is, uh, there is no doubt even a little bit which way the wind is blowing here. were really quiet. I mean, I imagine it gets much worse than this too, but uh, this is not what you'd call placid. The ocean talks to you, you know. It really does. I don't know how many of you know that, or maybe think about it, but it really does. One of the things it says Don't screw with me, or I will mess you up. Sometimes I'll mess you up even if you don't screw with me. The ocean. Both thrills me and terrifies me. Which is probably exactly as it should be. I mean, if you're not at least a little bit afraid. Fear keeps you safe sometimes, you know? Because it's going to surprise you. Without a doubt, it's going to surprise you. Now let's see how Ninigret Pond does via the Charlestown Breachway on our fabs rating. First up, fun. Uh, Ninigret is just a really enjoyable body of water to get on. There's a lot to see. There's a lot of little areas and inlets to paddle around. There's waves. There's a lot of traffic to be aware of. There's beaches. I mean, when you're going onto this particular um, 
using this particular boat ramp, there's a beach right there you can go hang out. You can paddle down and get to another beach and be fairly isolated. You could also paddle over to the wildlife preserve if you wanted to go walking around there. Um, so this is just this is just a great body of water to go on. So we're going to give it a nice high fun rating of eight. Accessibility. This is a little more complicated. Oh, one of the great bonuses that Nintegrate is getting for this one is at the Charlestown Breachway. Uh, there are porta potties there, and let me tell you, that's nice to have that kind of facility available to you. Um, there's a generous amount of parking, but you do have to pay for parking up in this particular area in season and later in the day. And I went there early enough in the day on my trip that the gates weren't there. Um, but you will have to pay to park. So that reduces that accessibility a little bit. But, of course, you always do have the the uh, Charlestown uh, Wildlife Preserve if you want to go park and launch from there. So we're going to give Ninegrit, I think we give it a 7. We'll give it a 7 for accessibility. Difficulty. Ninegrit, uh, boy, Ninegrit is a challenging place at times. Uh the water is never going to be completely flat, even in the best of occasions, even though well, challenging maybe is a bit too much, but it certainly is not for the novice, and especially not if you're coming out by the breachway. Um, this is a much more difficult area than if you're going off the wildlife refuge. You've got crazy currents with the beach breachway. Uh, you've got uh, motor traffic. You've got a lot of boats, power boats. There's commercial fishery you have to watch out for. Um, this, is, this is, like I said, this is not a place for a novice. It may not be like super difficult, but you want to know what you're doing before you go here a little bit. And uh, you know, you need to be fairly strong too, because there's currents and wind, and it moves you around a bit. So we're going to give Ninegrit when you're specifically when you're coming out of the breachway. We're going to give this a, a five to eight difficulty rating um especially just in the summertime on the weekends with the busy traffic it's really challenging scenic boy this is again a place where ninigrit is sort of a mixed message if you're on the more inland bank there's a lot of developed homes it's nice enough but there's just like a lot of expensive housing but if you're on the seaside which we were for this particular trip. Um, there's obviously no development. There's a lot of little inlet areas. There's plenty of wildlife to see. Um, it's just really beautiful and interesting to go paddling around. So we're going to give Ninigrit a scenic rating of 7. That might be different than we did uh, when we went from the wildlife reserve, but, you know, it's almost like two different areas. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, this particular video. We may come back to Ninigrit Ninigrit again someday. I may redo the uh, Charlestown Wildlife Preserve launch spot episode again. Um, since I wasn't entirely happy with it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, as always, happy paddling.